Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabihi ajmain. Associate Professor Dr. Farid Sufyan, Deputy Dean of Student Affairs Ahmad Ibrahim Gula of Laws, Dr. Syamrayu Aziz, Lecturer of Constitutional Law of IIUM, Mr. Lin Chiwi, President of Nation Bar, Dr. Farid Musa, Chairman of Islamic Renaissance Front, Brother Farid Zul Nasaruddin, Moderator for this forum, Brother Mawad Fuad Shazwan Rambi, President of Law Student Society, Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the Intellectual Forum on Homosexuality, Crime or Right. To begin our program today, let us first invite Brother Muhammad Zaid bin Muhammad Azlan for the recitation of Dua. Please welcome him. Alhamdulillah <tuh> علينا مصائب الدنيا اللهم متعنا بأسماءنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحييتنا ربنا لا تزيق قلوبنا بعد إذ هليتنا وخبرنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا أنزم النار وصلى الله على خير خلقه سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين. Thank you very much, Sayy. Ladies and gentlemen, in this past few years, there had been calls for a review of laws relating to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transsexual, also known as LGBT. One of the proponents, Sexual Liberty Malaysia, stressed that it is the right of the community to practice their ways of life. According to their own ways, this intellectual forum is held to create awareness among students that they should take part in national issue, as it is in line with this university mission and Islamic teaching. It is also to expose students on the current issue and to and to invite discussion and let them find out the solution to these existing problems facing by our country with regards to morality. Without further ado, I would like to invite Brother Faridu as moderator to begin our session today. Please do welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashwati al-anbiya'i wa al-mursaleen. Iman al-muttaqin wa ala ahli wa ahli bayti wa sahabi ajma'in. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamatana. Innaka anta al-alim al-hakim. ربنا اشرح لنا صدورنا ويسر لنا امورنا وهل اقدرت من السنتنا يفقه قولنا السلام عليكم and very good evening to every one of you here. so tonight i've been uh, entrusted to be the moderator of tonight's forum discussing one of the most controversial disputable sensitive interesting and to some it is disgusting perhaps Topic uh, and with us today, tonight is Dr. Shamar Hayu Abdul Aziz, our own Dr. Shamar Hayu, or, or uh, mostly known as Kasham, right, from UIM, and then Mr. Lim Chiwi, the President of the Malaysian Bar, and we also have our Dr. Farouk Musa, the Chairman of the Islamic Renaissance Front. Please welcome all the panelists. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, to begin with, I would begin with the format of the forum. I will explain the format of the forum. We're going to have three sessions, 
the first session is a warm up session. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the same question to each and every panelist. Simple question, and then we're gonna move on to the second round, which is the substance of the discussion. And then before we move on to the third round, we will have Q and A session. So please be reminded that during the Q and A sessions, since we are in our own beloved, lovely moot court, we always uphold what academic discussion. So whatever question that you intend to ask, make sure that it is within the fraternity of intellectual forum and discussion. All right. So no what to say, no what confrontation or any you know any unscrupulous question. And if you intend to ask any, and if you ask any kind of that question, I will straight away scrap those questions. Agree? Okay? Don't agree. Okay, let, let us know first, right? Okay, the first question to each and every panelist. Since now we are discussing, the topic of the discussion is homosexuality. Whether it is a crime or it is a right. So, to each and every of you, how do you actually view this topic? What is your opinion about this topic? Randomly, please, we start with Adam Thoreau. Adam Thoreau. Thank you very much, Mr. Adam And, um, um, Actually, let me begin by stating that uh, I think the debate today or the forum today is basically a continuation of a debate I had with uh, Dr. Shamayu and Kua uh, Shazwan and a few other law lecturers in IIM with regard to state intervention in personal matters and whether state has the right to intervene. Um, in personal morality or not. So the whole idea begins with uh, probably, it started probably when, uh, as we all know, that Dr. Siyan Ibrahim, he was uh, uh, tried under Penal Code 377B and uh, his current maximum uh, was basically says that uh, having a current in the cause against the uh, order of nature, and he carries a maximum sentence of 20 years uh, of imprisonment. And because of that, when he was acquitted, uh, he called for probably a review of that penal code. And I guess there are many so-called Islamists and many quarters uh, in Malaysia who view that probably that this penal code has some semblance of uh, Islamic law, what they call it Islamic law. The issue is that based on uh, research being done um, before, it was noted that since 1938, there were basically seven cases that were tried under 377. And out of these seven cases, four were related to Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim. What does that imply? It implies to me as a lay person who was not trained um, in law that 377 has been used as a state apparatus to persecute a political opponent. And there's nothing more than that. And whether that 377 is actually relevant in the 21st century is another matter. It was probably, it was uh, in the 1800s when it was first introduced, it was an archaic law that was introduced in the 1800s by the, um, um, it was a Victorian law, a very archaic law, and, um, and uh, introdu introduced by the British, and uh, I think you have 377 in India, in uh, Singapore, and Malaysia as well. And um, Singapore, modified 377 in the year 2007, if I'm not mistaken. And um, if you have to read 377A and 377B, it means that 
it involves consensual sex between adults. It did not really discriminate whether the consensual sex is between male and female or of the same sex. It means that what is carnal intercourse against the order of nature means oral sex and anal sex. Now let me be clear, we are all adults here, so I don't think there's a taboo to say oral sex or anal sex. In the 21st century, are we saying that consenting adults, husband and wife, has no right to involve in oral sex, for example? And it's still under 377. So that's the whole issue. And can a state intervene in this private life of, of individuals? It's different from when it's a crime.